Hello guys, welcome back. First of all, welcome to Amazon Academy. Here you can learn from top educators of India for various competitive exams like IIT, JE, NEET and CUET. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about uh, another factor which can affect the enzyme activity that is substrate concentration. This topic belongs to chapter of biomolecules which is a class 11th biology topic. Okay guys, so let's get started. Okay. So again, as we do always, we start with very, very basic points. Okay. So see enzymes, how they speed up the rate of reaction that substrate is going to bind on certain regions of enzymes which are known as active sites. Okay. So active sites means whole enzyme is not involved in the enzymatic reactions. Okay. Whole enzymes are not involved in the reactions okay not involved in the reactions okay only a part only a part of enzyme that is protein of enzyme you know binds with substrate okay that part of enzyme is known as the active site okay suppose this is the enzyme okay and this is the active site okay now each active site you know is specific for its substrate okay so this is the enzyme okay this is suppose our active site uh, let me just change the color okay so this is the active site okay like this okay this is the active site active site now it is specific for its particular substrate okay suppose this is the substrate so that it can easily fit into the active site okay this is the substrate okay so this is one concept you should be aware the concept of active sites okay now how does reaction takes place in presence of enzymes let's see suppose there is a container okay and here we have the molecules of substrate okay suppose these are the molecules of substrate okay now they are you know colliding with each other and with the container okay and they are far apart suppose we have two uh, molecules like molecule A or substrate and substrate B. Okay, they will only form product when they will collide with each other. Okay, so this is helped by the enzymes. Okay, enzymes have the active sites. Okay, for two of each. Okay, so they can bring this substrate A and B together. Okay, suppose this is the substrate. Okay, S stands for substrate. Okay, now substrate when combines with the enzyme like this, they form the enzyme substrate complex. Okay. And eventually substrate is uh, converted into product. So we will have enzyme product complex. Okay. And then this, these two are getting separated. Okay. So we have separate enzyme and product is separated. So that enzyme can catalyze more reactions. So they can combine with the more substrate. Okay. So we can divide, you know, to understand how substrate concentration is going to affect uh, the rate of reaction. We can divide this reaction into three phases. Okay. So what are the different factors affecting the enzyme activity? We have discussed already temperature and pH. Okay. The third factor is effect of substrate concentration. Effect of substrate concentration. Effect of substrate concentration. Okay. So to understand this, we're going to use a graph to understand this concept. Okay. So suppose this is the, uh, let me just draw the graph. Okay. Okay. This is the substrate concentration and this is the velocity of the reaction. Okay. So this is substrate concentration. Okay. Substrate concentration, this axis. Okay. And this axis is velocity of the reaction. Okay. Velocity of reaction. Okay. Now we can take a very good example to understand. Suppose, you know, we are eating something, we are eating protein. Eh? And protein will be digested by, for example, pepsin enzyme, which is found in the stomach. Okay. So right now in my, in my body, you know, we, this enzyme is present as inactive form like pepsinogen. So initially I have more of enzyme. When I start to eat the food, that food will go into stomach and the, and that will go into combine with the enzyme. Okay. So that it can convert into products. Okay. So initially enzymes are more than the substrate. Okay. So initially we have more enzyme than the substrate. Okay. Enzymes are more than the substrate suppose we have uh, 
this is one enzyme okay this is second enzyme this is third enzyme this is fourth enzyme okay we have four enzymes suppose and we have only two molecules of substrate okay so because of that initially the rate of reaction will be slow okay so when we start to increase the substrate concentration okay it is going to increase uh, directly because substrate concentration you know directly affect the rate of reaction okay so when we start to increase the substrate concentration like this okay suppose now we have we had the four enzymes okay like this and now substrate concentration is increasing gradually suppose now we have the four substrate molecules okay so now they can combine with all the enzymes in initial phase they have only combined with two enzymes means only two enzymes were used and two enzymes were unused now we have enzyme is equal to substrate concentration okay so when we reach when we reach this point you know the enzyme are going to perform at their maximum activity means the rate of reaction will be at its maximum okay <laughs> after that if we further increase the substrate concentration there will be no further increase in the rate of reaction why because all the enzymes are already used okay what i mean to say suppose these are our four enzymes okay like this and they are already bounded with the four substrate molecule okay four substrate molecule okay so all the four enzymes are already occupied now if you increase the substrate concentration means you add means four six or 10 molecule doesn't matter because enzymes are catalyzed by the sorry rea rate reaction is catalyzed by the enzymes okay <laughs> so all the enzymes are already used so even if you further increase the substrate concentration there will be no further increase in the rate of the reaction okay so initially when sub uh, enzymes are more than the substrate okay rate of reaction was slow then we keep on increasing the substrate concentration a point will reach okay a point will reach when enzyme molecule is becomes equal to the substrate concentration at that point the rate of reaction will be maximum okay <laughs> so we can label this okay as v max okay as v max okay like this so this will be the maximum velocity of the reaction okay after that when we hit the maximum velocity all the enzymes are saturated okay so at this point we have more of substrate as compared to enzymes means all enzymes all enzymes are saturated okay means there is no free enzymes okay there is no free enzyme to bound with new substrate molecule with new substrate molecule okay with the new substrate molecule okay so there will be no further increase no further increase okay i have to write it here okay just a second there will be no further increase in rate of reaction okay rate of reaction okay so we can you know divide this uh, graph into three stages initially we have more of enzyme than the substrate then when we keep on increasing the substrate concentration the rate of reaction is going to increase as we can see from this graph okay you can see it is directly proportional like this okay or like this or like this so as we keep on increasing the substrate concentration the rate of reaction is going to increase okay so this is the second phase when enzyme becomes the number of molecules of enzyme become number of molecules of substrate so we will have the maximum velocity of the enzyme okay after that if we increase the substrate concentration since already all the enzymes are used and there is no free enzymes to bind with the substrate so there will be no further increase in the substrate concentration okay so at that time the rate of reaction becomes static okay so rate of reaction becomes static means there will be no further increase okay there will be no further increase in the rate of reaction okay so this is one concept okay second concept is of km value so let us understand what is km value okay so i am going to draw this graph once again okay <coughs> so let's go okay so i am going to draw the same graph okay 
like this okay and like this okay so this axis will be our uh, substrate concentration okay, just a second this will be our substrate concentration okay and this will be the rate of reaction okay rate of reaction okay so now we see that this is going to be a curve like this okay like this okay and we understand why this curve has been made like this okay and this is the point where the reaction achieve its maximum velocity okay this is v max okay v max this is rate of reaction okay or we can say velocity of the reaction okay velocity of the reaction that is v okay that is v okay now what is km okay km is the my shell is menten constant okay so this is the substrate concentration at which the reaction achieve half of the maximum velocity okay suppose this is our substrate concentration that is km okay and this is the v max by 2 okay v max by 2 so it is something like this okay like this okay so km actually is the substrate concentration nothing else okay it is a substrate concentration at which the reaction achieve half of its maximum velocity okay so this question is very very important from exam point of view has been asked number of time okay so let me define what is km okay so km is the km is the substrate concentration okay substrate concentration at which the reaction achieve okay half of its maximum velocity okay maximum velocity okay that is v max by 2 okay so it is nothing but substrate concentration remember that i am repeating number of time because this question is very very important has been asked number of times okay so km is substrate concentration okay and km also indicate one more value that is it also indicate affinity affinity that is attraction affinity between substrate and enzymes okay that means if we have let's go to next page if we have low km value if we have low km value that means we have high affinity between substrate and enzyme okay and if we have high km value high km value we will have low affinity between substrate and enzyme okay so i hope these concepts are clear so let me summarize okay let me summarize the concept okay so <laughs> velocity of reaction velocity of reaction is directly proportional to the substrate concentration okay up to a certain value okay after that if we further increase the substrate concentration there will be no further increase in the rate of the reaction okay so after achieving v max that is maximum velocity possible okay at at this point you know the concentration of enzyme molecule is equal to the substrate molecule okay so after achieving v max if we further if we further increase further increase the substrate concentration substrate concentration that is substrate becomes more than the enzyme there will be no further increase in rate of reaction as all enzymes are already used as all enzymes or we can say the active sites all active sites 
are already used okay guys so i hope this concept is cleared in your mind how this subset concentration is going to affect the rate of the reaction okay so guys thank you very much for your time and i hope your concepts are clear okay so happy learning from amazon academy till next time take care